Hello guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to use G Crypto. So if you're interested, let's start our tutorial. So first thing that you have to do here is you want to open up your Gcash mobile application and look for G Crypto. Then here, let's just click on Gcash. And from here, what you need to do is you want to click on the view all option that you see at the top section of your screen. And from here, you want to scroll down a bit until you see the grow section here and you want to click on G Crypto. Now from here, it's going to load up your account for Jib Crypto. It's going to show your current balance. Now from this page here, you'll be able to basically manage your crypto through the Gcash application here. So as you can see, I only have zero PHP here as my current balance, but you could basically add your balance here. Just click on top of your trading wallet. Just click on that button. And from here, you'll be able to enter an amount that you want to basically top into your account. Let's say we want to add like 1000 pesos here and just click on continue. Now from here, what you need to do is just wait for the payment page to actually open up. Now, if you don't have sufficient balance in your Gcash account, it's going to give you this option here. So you have insufficient Gcash balance to complete this transaction. Because every time you buy something on Gcrypto, it's basically going to use your Gcash account as the payment method. So make sure that you have enough funds for you to proceed with the payment. Now, once you've added your money here, you could just basically start adding or buying your crypto. So in this case, at the bottom section, you have the crypto assets. So in this case, if you want to buy BTC, USDC, or ETH here, you just need to click on that specific icon. Now, if you want to see more, just click on the see more link there, and you'll be able to basically search for the crypto that you want to buy. Now, in this case, let's just choose ETH here or Ethereum. And from here, what we need to do is we want to start using this one. Now, if you want to go ahead and basically send this one or receive your crypto here, just click on the send option if you want to send. Now, in this case, you want to enter the amount as well as the address of the recipient. Now, the good thing here is you could basically use a QR code as the means of transfer just to ensure that you're not sending this to the incorrect wallet. So if you send this to an incorrect wallet, then the crypto itself will not be sent to the appropriate user and you might have any we might have problems on recovering this crypto now in here if you want to receive it just click on receive and you have to basically provide the following details that will appear on this screen now from here you want to just give this to the user that you want to receive that specific ETH now from here, if you want to buy Ethereum, you want to go ahead and click on buy. So I do have to warn you that the prices for the crypto here be dependent on the current time that you are accessing, accessing it. So it means that the coins here are actually, the, the prices for it actually differs every time you exit. So if you want to have a, like for example, a stable balance on it, you might want to use stable coins. So that includes USDC or USDT. But if you want to go ahead and buy ETH directly, just go ahead and click on ETH. And from the next page, if you have enough balance, you'll be able to start buying your crypto. Now in this page, you could also sell it if you click on the sell option. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.